which no good and camp it's time for another and campaign civic update and i'm pretty sure you can guess what this one is going to be about i'm pretty sure you guys have heard the news uh that uh president joe biden has actually uh gotten out of this election he's not gonna uh, run any further it's been really in interesting how this uh all went down people have been debating for a long time whether he should get out whether he would get out but as we see after that debate uh and then a couple mistakes after that there was a lot of pressure from donors from uh politicians and leaders in the party for joe biden to get out because frankly they didn't think that he could win so he has gotten out of the race officially and that means that things have opened up quite a bit now initially in his first uh letter that he put out he did not endorse kamala he just addressed him getting out of the race and again he's getting out of the race he's not resigning from the presidency so he'll finish his term he's just not running for a second term uh but like i was saying initially people were like well there's nothing you know he said something about kamala but he didn't say that he was endorsing her for president so everybody was kind of up in arms about that then just after that he releases a statement saying that he is endorsing kamala uh for the president so there's two ways that this can go uh the party can just get behind uh kamala and push her through as the dnc is coming up uh in a few uh, or they can have an open primary uh, process at the convention where there are other candidates that actually end up running. Now, from what I'm hearing, some candidates have dropped out of that, don't even want to do it because it's too messy or maybe because they think a lot of folks in the African-American community would be upset with them if they ran against uh, Kamala, who a lot of people say uh, is the next in line and it should be her, her time. So we'll see what they do. Uh, it's been said that uh, Nancy Pelosi, folks like that, actually won an open primary. They want to bring other people in there because the fact of the matter is, when you look at the polls, Kamala doesn't do a whole lot better than Biden does. Now, people are saying, well, she hasn't gotten a chance to run. Uh, she'll be out there to speak for herself, and that will make a difference because she can speak in a way that it seems like Biden wasn't, wasn't able to do at the time. But that's yet to be seen. We, we have to see what happens with that. So she's going to have the opportunities to speak into it. I don't know. I wouldn't want to be leading the uh, Democratic National Committee right now. I mean, they have some tough questions to make. There's going to be some people who aren't going to be happy. Uh, you can't please everybody. So we're going to see which direction they go in. But of course, the Republicans, Republicans responded, responded to this immediately. Um, the Speaker of the House, uh, Michael Johnson, came out and basically said, hey, this is supposed to be the party of democracy. But this party allowed people to come in and remove their candidate that millions of Americans have voted for. Whether you like it or not, technically, Biden did go through a primary process and he won that primary process. And now, you know, he's kind of being, being pushed out. So that that was their That's what they were saying. They're saying, hey, this is against democracy. And then he goes on to say, but even if it is Kamala, she was in charge. She was the czar of the border and she's connected to all what he would call their failures. I think that's going to be the line that they really strike to say, you guys just do what you want to do. You say you're about democracy, you push people out. You know, she's connected to everything. That's going to be what the Republicans are going to say. And I think they're going to push that uh, fairly hard. So it's going to be a lot going on. Uh, I'm sure I'll talk more about this uh, on the Church Politics podcast, but you got to stay tuned. Uh, a lot of things going on. We'll see if it is Kamala. We'll see who she chooses for uh, uh, her uh, VP. There's just a lot of unknowns right now, so I don't want to speculate too much, but I just want to let you guys know kind of what some of the dynamics are that people are looking at. All right. Uh, we will be we'll back and talk more about this on the Church Politics Podcast. God bless you.